drop. It was mid-November when my two friends, Bill and Wes, suggested we try our luck steelhead fishing. Because there's only room to fit two people comfortably in Eddie, they agreed to stay in my canvas tent and I would have the trailer all to myself. This has been a common thing with my trips lately is having guests stay in the canvas tent while I use Eddie as more of our living room and gathering area. Hanging out after fishing or hunting or just being in the woods has been one of the best experiences about having a trailer so far. This time of year it gets dark pretty quick so hanging out by an outside campfire makes for a long night. Hanging out in the comfort of the trailer with the wood stove is the next best thing. Well, it's Don't look time. at me. Who's fin whose play is it? I wait, your turn, your turn. There you go. That's on that. Oh, I keep telling you, don't look at me, me, buddy. Oh my mm. god. Oh, oh buddy. That turned out pretty darn good. When we went to bed that night, I could feel the cold front coming in, and by the middle of the night, the snow had arrived. The nice thing about this fishing trip is that all Wes and Bill had to do was sleep in the tent and hang out in the trailer or grab some food on the way to the fishing spot. So we got some snow overnight. Weather forecast is uh, great for making YouTube videos, but not great for fishing. The snow made for a picturesque day of fishing, but today wouldn't be our day. I dry out the tackle box, got a little wet with all the snow, snow in it. So I'll let the, uh, try to get the moisture out of there before I lock it up. You see it's already getting darker already. Remember winter camping, it gets dark quick. So if you're planning on a winter camping trip, just know that you don't have a whole lot of daylight hours. You gotta make the most of it. Let's see what these guys are doing. So what are we doing here? A little Tennessee honey whiskey over oh. some snow. Over snow, snow packed in the Kelly kettle. Nature's ice. Maybe 
just a, a smidgen more. Yeah, just a smidgen. There we go. Oh, look at that. What do you think? Oh, look at that. Look that's at a that. Slurry. That is. Now, you were careful where you got that snow at, right? That's a, oh, I was. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't in the area. It wasn't, was wasn't, wasn't yellow first. Yeah. <laughs> or even, though it's ye even though it's yellow <laughs> now. Yeah. Cheers. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's what we're going to call this drink. Yellow <laughs> snow. It's about six in the morning. I'm always an early riser. So I'm going to get my coffee on. i got to do some dishes before. Bill made a great dinner last night. We got playing cards, so i got some dishes to do. That thing with the bowls on it, that's my, that's my new toilet, so stay tuned for a video on that. That's going to be really exciting. I got rid of the luggable loo. Really excited about a toilet. I've had a chance to pick out any toilet that I've ever wanted. Um, I reached out to this very specific company because I think they have the best toilet. Stay tuned because the next month or so there will be a video about uh, that uh, toilet, and I don't want to say too much about it now, but I'm really excited about it. I have a direct air intake for the wood stove so fresh air is coming from outside to provide oxygen for the fire inside the wood stove. And my practice is that I keep it hotter than I need to be in here with the wood stove and I would rather have the wood stove going nice and strong and I can open up the windows to ventilate. So right now the wood stove's been going, it's snowing outside. I woke up in the morning, got my normal routine done and I've cracked a few windows here. You can see how this window just cracked a little bit. Um, the one above the kitchen is cracked. So above me, the max air fan, I put it on its lowest setting, pushing air into the trailer. Very important, not out, into. That's why I bought the upgraded model of the fan. So it has the option of exhausting air out, which most kind of RV fans do. This one has the option of pushing air in. So for sleeping, pushing air down on you sometimes is really nice if it's hot in here. But winter camping, um, if I draw air out, that's gonna affect the draft on the wood stove. So I need to push air in, that keeps the stove working properly and the windows crack, so then the air is going to circulate out. And uh, the windows, I don't know if you can see here, but um, normally when it's really cold outside, and uh, especially with uh, Wes and Bill in here last night, we were playing cards. Um, you got three people in here talking and carrying on, and uh, you, that's when condensation will start to show up on the glass. But with this system, so far it's been working really good. So that's something to consider if you're winter camping in a trailer or a van or any where it's a closed space, you need to think about ventilation. Well, guys, this is our last morning here. We're just kind of doing our wrap up. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, we ran into town, got uh, some Tim Hortons. I got the trailer pretty much. Now we got to, uh, we're all kind of resting up for the tent dismantling. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I get back from any adventure, I start to continue to work on Eddie. Now that the walls are painted, I was finally able to put on the window trim. I had time before the next adventure to build the cabinets for the kitchen, but Painting them will have to wait until the pantry cabinets are done and the warmer weather gets here. For my next November adventure, I had an idea to work on an anchor system for my canoe. And this would be the first trip that I used it on. Because I do such a variety of outdoor activities, I need my setup to be as flexible as possible. On this trip, my wife and I would be floating down a small river and I'd be using an electric bike to get back to the truck. I use my Diamondback tonneau cover to carry my ATV, electric bikes, gear, you name it. But with the storage on the roof of my truck, I need to be flexible when it comes time to get the canoes to the river. Right here. 
So our first day, we're going to just test the time, see how long it's going to take us to get back to the uh, trailer, because I got to take the e-bike and bike back to get the truck. I don't really want to do that in the dark. So today, we're just going to enjoy a paddle and test the times and get a feel for the river. So yesterday we kind of overextended ourselves. We didn't do a lot of fishing because we really just wanted to see how much distance we could cover on the river. But today we're going to take a small section of the river. The flies only section um, kind of ends right here. So we're going to be doing um, a float through a small section after um, the flies only. And we're only going to do a small section so we can actually enjoy ourselves. It looks like it's going to be about eight Celsius today. So a really nice day. And we're just going to take our time, float down the river, and hopefully catch some fish. So this is a nice big dry bag where I can just chuck everything in. And on a trip like this, we always carry uh, some extra warm clothes, an extra puffy jacket in case we for some reason go in. This river is not very deep, but uh, this is a huge, huge dry bag so we can throw everything in there and not have to worry about uh, storage. It's just a gorgeous day to be out here today. I even had to take my puffy jacket off. It's mid-December.
Being able to have a hot shower in the winter is a game changer. I originally bought this Mr. Heater base camp as a temporary solution and I store it under the bench in the trailer, but now it's going to be my permanent solution. So I'll be finishing the shower soon and it'll be a perfect way to have hot showers. I had an opportunity to go on a pheasant hunt with some good friends including my buddy Matt and Jeremy and I decided to let my son Griffin hunt in my place for his birthday present. Good job Griff! It was Griffin's first time ever hunting pheasant and he made good on his first opportunity. He really enjoyed hanging out in the camaraderie with all the guys and I loved sharing the day with him. So that's it, that's going to wrap up the video, hope you enjoyed it, have a great Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, be good to one another and we'll see you in the new year.